Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is September 23rd, 2021. And I want to share some information with you about a list of all the countries that are making the COVID vaccination mandatory. And I want to let everybody know the connection here that I am making with the day of the great flood over my last two messages the flood begins chess van 17 October 24th and then we have the October 17th final warning flood begins October 24th chess van 17 what we have here is we have the day of the great flood on October 24th which happens to be 1260 days from May 14th 2018 so we have the 70 years of Israel and then we have, from the exact day of the 70th anniversary of Israel, we have the midweek abomination, 1260 days, three and a half biblical years exactly from the 70th birthday of Israel. So we have the 70 years, we have the renewal of the covenant with Donald Trump moving the American embassy to Jerusalem, declaring Jerusalem as the eternal capital of Israel. The renewing of the covenant and then in the midweek time frame we have the abomination being set up which connects us to the mandatory vaccinations exactly during the timing of the flood and a seven-day warning so we're looking at October 24th the day the flood begins and we're looking at seven days prior which is the day Noah entered the ark and this is going to connect us with the vaccination mandate deadline in many many places it's not across the board all on the same exact day but we have a general time frame that is being established around October 15th as the deadline for mandatory vaccinations this puts us exactly in line with the seven-day warning to the beginning of the flood so what I want to do to connect to these two messages is I want to take us to this article by Reuters publication and I want to look at all the countries making COVID-19 vaccines mandatory. Okay. Now this will give people a, a place to start if they want information on their own country and how this is going to be uh, applied as we move forward. Okay. A sharp upturn in infections due to the Delta variant and slowdown in vaccinations have pushed governments to make COVID-19 shots mandatory for health workers, other high-risk groups, or dining out. A growing number of countries also making shots compulsory for public servants or travelers. In some of the strictest measures in the world, Italy will require a COVID health pass from all workers. Here are some countries' vaccine mandates. Okay, Italy. The Italian gover government made it obligatory for all workers either to show proof of vaccination, a negative test, or recent recovery from infection. The new rules will come into force on October 15th. Okay, you can read more about that if you click on the link. Any worker who fails to present a valid health certificate will be suspended without pay, but cannot be sacked according to a draft of the decree seen by Reuters. Suspended without pay, but cannot be sacked. Okay. Well, you won't be sacked, but you won't get your job back until you're vaccinated. It's the same thing, right? Well, some European Union states have ordered their health workers to get vaccines. None have made the Green Pass mandatory for all employees, making Italy a test case for the continent. Okay, Italy is the test case for Europe. United States. President Joe Biden on September 10th announced policies requiring most federal employees to get COVID-19 vaccinations and pushing large employers to have their workers inoculated or tested weekly. Again, you can get more information here. The new measures would apply to about two thirds of all US employees, those who work for businesses with more than 100 workers. The White House confirmed on August 5th, it is considering requiring foreign visitors to be vaccinated as it plans to eventually reopen international travel, but said it had made no final decision and was not immediately going to lift restrictions. 
Okay. Australia. Australia decided in late June to make vaccinations mandatory for high-risk aged care workers and employees in quarantine hotels. In Tasmania, vaccines will be mandatory for aged care workers as of September 17th, the examiner reported. Britain. It will be mandatory for care home workers in England to have vaccinations from October. English nightclubs and other venues with large crowds will require patrons to present full proof of vaccination from the end of September. Britain is highly likely to require health workers to be vaccinated against COVID. Against COVID health Secretary, Secretary Sajid Javid said on September 14th. Canada. Canada said on August 13th it would mandate COVID-19 vaccination for federal public servants and transportation workers by the end of October. The vaccine mandate will also include air, train, and cruise, tr cruise ship travelers. From September 13, vaccines are required for patrons of non-essential businesses such as restaurants and movie theaters. Fiji, a no-jab, no-job coronavirus policy went into effect in F Fiji on August 15th AFP reported with unvaccinated public servants forced to go on leave. Those who remain unvaccinated by November will be dismissed. Okay. In addition, employees at private firms could face fines and companies could be forced to stop operations over vaccine refusals. refusals. France. All health care and care home workers, home aides, and urgent care technicians must have had at least their first shot of COVID-19 vaccine by September 15th. Hospitals, care homes, and health centers have suspended around 3,000 workers across France for failing to comply with mandatory COVID vaccination, the government said on September 16th. Greece. Greece on July 12th made vaccinations mandatory for nursing home staff with immediate effect and health care workers from September. As part of new measures, only vaccinated customers are allowed in bars, cinemas, theaters, and other closed spaces. Okay. Hungary. Hungary's government has decided to make vaccinations mandatory for healthcare workers. Indonesia. The world's fourth most populous country made inoculations mandatory in February, threatening fines of up to 5 million rupiah or $357. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan will introduce mandatory vaccinations or weekly testing for people working in groups of more than 20. Lebanon. Lebanon is to limit entry to restaurants, cafes, pubs, and beaches to pub people holding vaccine certificates or those who have taken antibody tests. Non-vaccinated employees of these establishments would be required to receive a PCR test every 72 hours. Malta. Malta banned visitors from entering the country from July 14th unless they were fully vaccinated. Micronesia. The small Pacific island nation of the Federated States of Micronesia has mandated that its adult population be inoculated against COVID-19. The Pacific island nation said on July 29th everyone over 18 years will have to receive a COVID-19 vaccine. Netherlands has stated the Dutch government announced on September 14th it will introduce a Corona Pass showing proof of vaccination to go to bars, restaurants, clubs, or cultural events. Russia. Moscow city authorities on June 16th ordered all workers with public-facing roles to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Companies were given a month to ensure at least 60% of staff had received first doses or face fines or temporary closure. Moscow res residents no longer have to present a QR code demonstrating they have been vaccinated or have immunity in order to sit in cafes, restaurants, and bars from July 19th. Saudi Arabia. In May, Saudi Arabia mandated that all public and private sectors wishing to attend a workplace get vaccinated without specifying when this would be implemented. Vaccination will also be required to enter any government, private, or education establishments and to use public transport as of August 1st. Saudi citizens will need two doses before they can travel outside the kingdom from August 9th, state news agency SPA reported on July 19th. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka announced on August 13th that its citizens would, re would require vaccination cards to travel between provinces and in spaces 
public spaces as of September 15th, according to business standard. Switzerland. Swiss people would need to show a COVID status certificate to enter bars, restaurants, and fitness centers in Switzerland from September 13th. The government ordered on September 8th. The Swiss COVID certif cert certificate provides proof of vaccination, recovery from infection, or a negative test result. Okay. Turkey. Turkey will begin requiring negative COVID-19 test results and proofs of vaccinations from some sectors, including from teachers as schools reopen in September and for domestic travel. President Tayyip Erdogan said on August 19th. As of September 6th, the negative PCR test is mandatory for those who have not been vaccinated or not recovered from the virus to enter concerts, cinemas, and theaters, Turkey's Interior Ministry said on August 21st. Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan is making vaccination mandatory for all residents age 18 and over. Okay, this is a, a list that I don't think at, at any rate is a, totally exhaustive. I, we have to keep on top of this and check everybody in their own areas. This is Reuters updated seven days ago from September 16th. Countries making COVID-19 vaccine, vaccines mandatory. Okay, I will continue studying this. And um, this, like I said, this connects to a, a final warning leading us to the middle of October, being many of these countries from the middle of October are requiring everybody to be vaccinated. So the push is on and we're going to have to stay on top of uh, this watching uh, all of these countries. As it says in Scripture, Revelation chapter 13, starting in verse 11, Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb and spoke as a dragon. He exercises all the authority of the first beast in, beast in his presence. He makes the earth and those who live on it worship the first beast, whose fatal wound was healed. He performs great signs, so that he even makes fire come down out of the sky to the earth in presence of the people. He deceives those who live on the earth because of the signs which it was given him to perform in the presence of the beast, telling those who live on the earth to make an image to the beast who had the wound of the sword and has come to life. And it was given to him to give breath to the image of the beast so that the image of the beast would even speak and cause all who do not worship the image of the beast to be killed. And he calls, causes all, the small and the great, the rich and the poor, and the free and the slaves, to be given a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads. And he decrees that no one will be able to buy or sell except the one who has the mark either the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast for the number is that of a man and his number is 666 vaccination in gematria is 666 vaccination is 666 and we have this order going out in all of the world, in all of these countries, this is the beast system. This is the one world government. This is the push that is coming, not from any one country in, in uh, specifically, but it is coming from the United Nations. It is coming from the new world order, the one world government, causing all men, small and great, rich and poor, free and slaves, to be given a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads. And with this mark, he decrees that no one will be able to buy or sell. This is why you will no jab, no job, no jab, no job. And if you have no job, then you have no buying or selling. Nothing will be done without the vaccination. This is being pushed the worldwide. We have all of these countries. OK, so this is what we have to watch. I'm sharing with you why this is all connected to the middle of October as we're seeing the lead up to the 1260 days from May 14th, 2018, which is October 24th, 2021. A seven day warning brings us to October 15th. What most of the countries are implementing, especially Italy being the uh, one who is leading the way, as it says here. While some European states have ordered their health workers to get vaccines, none have made the Green Pass mandatory for all employees making Italy a, t a, a test case for the continent. So Italy being the test case, October 15th. This is right in line with everything we're watching. Okay, so I will stay on top of this type of information. And whenever there's 
an update to this uh, worldwide country list of vaccinations, I will bring you uh, the update. So I pray you guys are blessed today. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.